bring his finger down. Detective Riley is my new partner. Anything on the handle? Same as the others. Wiped clean. Just scrape the fingernails. Sanchez. Yeah, I, I, I give him a manicure, too. His name's Jason Healy. Still lives with his mother. Who's gonna make the call? I'll do it. Hey, I got the forensics and the preliminary coroner's report on last night. What do you want done with them? Bring him to the briefing with you. Where are you going? I gotta go see the lieutenant. Hey, are, uh, are you really gonna go up there? She was my partner. Ex-partner. Look, sexual harassment's a bullet beef. Everyone knows that. So? So make her prove it. for a meeting with the mayor, so what's going on with you two? Oh, come on, come on. This is going to be informal. No lawyers here. Everything off the record. Now, who wants to go first? Yannick, you want to give it a try? It's like I was telling you. Personally, I think this whole deal is just one big misunderstanding. What happened to the apology? I never touched her. And you're asking me to drop the charges? Sheila, I never laid a finger on you. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm wasting my time here. I thought you were going to apologize. For what? I'm doing my best here. I'm supposed to be impartial, and I'm sticking my neck out for you because I can't afford to lose you. I need you on the job. I'm trying to be helpful, Yannick. No offense, Lieutenant, but your idea of help leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, of all the parties you could have given me, why are you sticking me with another woman? Have you talked to a lawyer yet? What for? I didn't do anything wrong. She's got no witnesses, no evidence. It's her word against mine. What's this? It's a court order for an IA investigation. It's getting serious, Yannick. If you talk to a lawyer, you might learn a few new words, like credibility. What are you talking about? Now, credibility is the name of the game. It, it all boils down to which of the two parties is the more believable. I think a good character witness would be helpful. Is that all? I got an army of guys out here to vouch for me. 
In this particular case, I've been told a woman would be invaluable. Lieutenant, I never touched her. Do you understand what I'm saying, Gary? Now, you get back on the job, and you be nice to your new partner. Yes, sir. So, they were all male, all Caucasian, all in uniform, similar age group from 39 to 42. They all ranged in height from 5'6 to 6 foot 3, weighing 155 to 220 pounds. Obviously, size and build of no correlation. In each case, there were multiple stab wounds from the same style fishing knife, the same brand, same exact brand. Also, in each case, the murder weapon was left lodged in the throat after the victim was already dead. So, what do we take from that? It's a statement. Stage dressing. Exactly. So what's his message? Are these cops uh, symbolic of something in this guy's twisted mind? Or does he just hate cops? Maybe he's a she. Well, it's highly unlikely, considering how big some of these guys were. You never know. Well, she's got a point. Though I've known some pretty tough women. <laughs> I'm sure you have. All right, let's go to work, boys. What is it? Very thorough. I like that. I think this partnership's gonna work. Thank you. Hi. Please leave a message. Thanks. Hi, it's Yannick. Uh, Gary Yannick, your partner. Uh, I hate talking to these machines. Look, I was just lying here thinking, and, uh, you know, as you're no doubt aware, maybe you don't know, maybe you're not aware, but.
Look, uh, I won't be able to make it next week, so I got a friend coming for me. You'll like her. She's good. <laughs> See ya. Hello. What? I'm on my way. Well, you can forget about our boy just targeting uniforms. This one's name is Andy Levitt. Detective Andy Levitt. Sanchez, you better chalk everything. I'm not chalking everything. It's not my job. Look, don't make me ask you again. Come on, just do it. You two do it together. You know, I'm not sure, but I think there's a regulation against that. No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have her on your side, would it? What are you talking about? That way she could vouch for your character when the time comes, right? yourself too hard, you know, these 16-hour days will kill you. Forget this guy. What you gotta do is you gotta rest. You gotta conserve your strength.
Understand. You're a sleepwalker. My grandfather used to sleepwalk. As far back as I can remember, my grandmother used to tie him to the bed just so he wouldn't wander around. Uh. Oh, by the way, I got your message. What message? On my machine. Look, I, uh, I think I understand what you were trying to say. And if, uh, if you want me to, I'll put in a good word for you. You don't understand anything. And thank you, I don't need your charity. Is it so hard to ask for help? Or is it just that I'm a woman? I told you, I don't need your help. I don't need anybody's help. Come on, Yannick. I know how complicated these things can get. I didn't touch her. Fine. You don't believe me, do you? I believe you. You got a busted headlight. It's always something.
boy. What's he like, uh, two now? Yep. Saw him last month. Yeah? Kid's a genius. You'll never guess what he said to me when I picked him up. What? Guess. I don't know. Go on, take a guess. I got no idea. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> no, really, I swear. He read me my rights. The little guy's three years old. He's reading me the Miranda. Well, I guess we know what he's going to be when he grows up. Hey, Malloy, you got an admirer. what it's worth, they're definitely the same type of glass fragments. But I can't say for certain they're from the same headlight. Thanks, Sarah. Well, we'll hey, can you handle the medical examiner? I've got another appointment. You sure, you got a lead? No, no, it's personal. Excuse me for asking, doctor, but have you ever had an officer of the law pay you an official visit in regards to the investigation of a felony? Ah, oh, no. Actually, it's never happened to me before. Good. Then seeing you knew this, let me explain that police inquiries deal with very sensitive material. And we'd prefer that you kept this interview very confidential, if you know what I mean. I understand. Good. Let's get on with it then. Uh, you have a patient by the name of 
Lynn Riley. That's correct. What's the problem? Excuse me? You're a therapist, right? She tells you things. Look, may I see a court order? You probably think that I'm not very well versed in these things, detective. But I know enough to know that doctor-patient privilege bars me from discussing such matters without a court order. Perhaps I should get some legal advice. Fine. You want to waste my time? You want to waste the whole evening? I can get a subpoena. You and I can go downtown to the precinct, and you can stand in line with the rest of them. She can't remember her marriage. Excuse me? Well, it was a long time ago. It only lasted two months. It was annulled. But she has blocked out most of that portion of her life. Why? We don't know. But the blocking out of certain traumatic events in one's life is not all that unusual. It's not. No. The more painful the circumstances, the more profound the memory loss. And clearly, in Lynn's case, Oh, whatever it was, it was traumatic. The sex husband, have you talked to him? No, that's not my job. I'm not a police detective. But it's my understanding that he wouldn't be particularly cooperative. Get all excited, but we got something. Sort of. The salesman's sure he remembers selling someone eight of our knives. Same type, same brand. What's up? We got a break. I think this is the receipt copy. I'm not sure. Wait a minute. Is it green, this paper, or blue? It's yellow. Then that's not it. Uh, yeah, he can't exactly give us a description. Um... The guy's so nearsighted, he can barely see to brush his own teeth. All right, well, what else you got? Tell him what you told me. Yeah, I saw this woman watching him. Real suspicious. Did you see her face? Yeah, I got a real good look. All right, we'll just try to get a statement. He saw something. I never forget a face. I've got a real good memory for faces. Riley, you got an urgent message. I'm late. It's from some doctor. Uh, Blumenthal? Dr. Blumenthal?
was your partner? I don't know. Something like this, maybe? Yeah, 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 that's more like it. Sorry, got held up. Yeah, 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 that's it. You know, I don't know why a citizen don't get paid for this. I mean, you get paid for jury duty. You should get paid for this. No, no, that's not her eyes. Her eyes are more like, um... Nah, her eyes weren't that light, and uh, her eyelashes were longer. And you ought to get some sleep, lady. Hey, do you want me to describe her body? <laughs> Guys, it was really hot. <laughs> it's like a photograph in my head. Wait up. Where are you going? That badge doesn't give you the right to go prying into someone's personal life just because you want to get into their pants. trying to do to me. In case you haven't noticed, my job's on the line. What are you worried about, Yannick? He didn't do anything, remember? Afternoon, precinct. Uh, hey, Jack. I need a favor. Let me guess. He wants some information, but it's just between you and me. You know, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. You never ask unless it's important. I want you to check something. My partner's ex-husband. Riley? Yeah. You're unbelievable. Let's do it. I know it's late, I don't mean to bother you, but, uh... Henry DeVario? Hey, she didn't call me. I want to ask you some questions about Lynn Riley. Lynn? Yeah. 
Do you have a smoke? Yeah. Hmm. Thanks. Nice with your sticks. I knew you were a cop the minute I saw you. Oh, really? How could you tell? Lynn was going to cop school when I met her. I met some of her classmates. They were all the same. How's that? Like you. Something happened to your ex-wife. What can you tell me about it? What can you tell me about it? Just that she doesn't remember being married to you. Did you find that a little strange? I lift weights. How about you? No, it's not my thing. Hey, you should try it. Some people think they're safe because they carry a gun. But I think that gives them a false sense of security. What do you think? I wouldn't know. You see, I carry a gun. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe something happened to her, but maybe not. All I know is insurance doesn't cover shrinks. I could tell why when I got the bills, too, I'll tell you. Why did you and Lynn break up? Because she broke the rules. I don't break the rules. I said, I'm talking to you. You're seeing someone, aren't you? Aren't you? Who is it? Nelson. Nelson? Paris. Nelson Paris. One of her classmates. She wouldn't sleep with me anymore. I knew she was screwing around. And nobody screws around on Henry DeVario. So I taught her a healthy lesson and sent her packing. You wouldn't happen to have another cigarette, would you? Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, thanks. Hey. Oh. Hey, weightlifter. You keep your hands to yourself. No one wants to work with me. Isn't that funny? I love it. It's so perfect, isn't it? My partner screws me around, treats me like a piece of garbage for months. And when I finally get up the nerve to do something about it, I'm the one that's punished. I'm a good cop. I've worked hard to be a cop. A lot harder than you or any of the guys in the unit. And not because I wanted to. Because I had to. I had to prove myself every day.
the hell are you doing with my truck? Hey, I'm talking to you. Hey! Who is it? What do you want? You. I always thought I'd see you again. He was a third grade detective. I don't know. Maybe he likes to camp. His name was Paris. Nelson Paris. I'm getting so sick of this. All I want to know is who's going to be next, huh? I mean, who's going to be next? I'll tell you one thing. It ain't going to be me. All right, all right. Just call it. But I got this guy. He's still alive. You ready? We're gonna get him in. Right? On top of this one. Okay. He just regained consciousness. Can we talk to him? He's fully conscious, but he's paralyzed. He can see and hear everything that's going on, but he can't move or speak. Not yet. Officer Paris, it's Detective Lynn Riley. It's all right. You're gonna be all right. Don't you worry. We're gonna get who did this to you. I promise you. Move. It's hard for me nuts. Got it. Be fit. Okay, let's get on it. Here's Bag the mask. Him. Oh. Got him. 200. 200. Four. Clear. Five. 300. 300. Clear. Nothing. 360. 360. Clear. Nelson Paris. Nelson Paris. What? You know your name. What are you talking about? I talked to your ex to give me his name. My ex. That's right. You've been talking to my ex. Damn you, Yannick. What are you looking for? Answers told me that you and Nelson were classmates, that you're having an affair. It's too weird. There's got to be a link to the killings. There's got to be a connection. 
could only remember something. You really don't remember. I don't know if I'd believe me either, Yannick. You two were classmates together. Wait a minute. Police Academy at the same time. Same, same graduation date, same company numbers. All the victims, including Paris. And if what my ex says is true, then so was I. Wait a minute. How come you didn't see this before? I must have missed it. Are you kidding me? The division's top detective? The lieutenant's baby misses the most obvious link. Nobody's perfect. Yannick, you were in charge of these files. It was your job to notice. What are you trying to say? What am I trying to say? I'm saying you'd have to be blind. Stop beating a dead horse and let's get down to business before we have to start shoveling dirt into another dead cop's grave. All right? What does this mean? Huh? What's going on here? It's obvious. Is it? You're next. No. No. No, not necessarily. There are always nine, nine recruits to a company. Seven of them have been killed. I'd make eight. That means there's one more left. You're right. We've got to get that name. We've got to get that list. You know somebody at the academy? Yeah, I'll call and get them to hook us up to their computer. How long will that take? It'll take a while. Don't go anywhere. Where are you going? I'll be back. Sleepwalking, huh? Yeah, whatever you can tell me. Yeah, who are they bothering? Why? Well, a consistent feature of synabulism is total amnesia for the entire incident. You know, some people go through their entire lives and never know, unless they bother somebody or fall downstairs. So, uh, is this a criminal? It's a con. It's a confidential investigation. Wow, you know, I, I love police talk. I, I've always wanted to be a police officer myself. It's been one of my fantasies since I was a kid. I used to watch all the cop shows on TV. Oh, really? Hey, hey, by the way, uh, you'd be wise not to wake them when they're in that state. Why? Well, it could be dangerous. See, sleepwalkers have been known to pick up cars. Big cars. Sleep talking. He carries on like that sometimes, all night, endlessly. Always talking about food. I'll do it. Mash potatoes. She must like food. Not in her sleep. Well, thank you. You've been very helpful. Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. Uh, a colleague of mine from Princeton once told me about this guy he was working with, a serious sonambulist. See, one day he gets up, drives 140 miles to his mother-in-law's house, and then shoots her right in the head at point-blank range. 
When it came to trial, he claimed he was asleep at the time. People claim a lot of things. The jury bought it. Seems a man had a history of sleepwalking and no motive. All the evidence said he loved his mother-in-law. Hey, Yannick. What's a good word? I hear they're reviewing your case tonight. Yeah, it's behind closed door. I'll find out tomorrow. Well, we're all pulling for you. You see my partner? Yeah, but she left a long time ago. She leave a message for me? No. is with you people. Oh, my name's Detective John Sanchez. I'm with Homicide, and I'd like to ask you a few questions about Lynn Riley. What the hell is this? I've already told one of your cohorts everything I know. Excuse me? That's right. After he showed me a phony warrant. What was his name? What does that matter? I assume that that was phony, too. This time, I don't give a damn if you get a warrant from the Supreme Court. You listen to me, all right? I got seven dead cops out there, and I don't need another one. Now, why don't you and I just start all over again, and you can tell me everything you know about Lynn Riley? Look, something horrible happened to her. That's all that I've been able to establish. That's it. No name, no face. No, no. She can't remember anything about it. Thank you, and I'm sorry for the inconvenience.
Then? was open, so I just walked in. I was worried about you. Buckman, Carlson, Healy, Levitt, Malloy, Nelson, Paris, and Riley. Gary Yannick, what is this, a joke? You tell me. What's the tell? I wasn't in your class. It's a mistake. It's got to be a mistake. That doesn't make any sense, and you know it. Well, what about this case does make sense, huh? Show me something that makes sense. What are you doing here? Look, we gotta talk. This whole thing has been driving me up a wall, but this morning it finally started making sense. How the hell did you know I was here? I didn't. That's crazy. No, it's not. It's been bugging me for the longest time. I even went and saw her shrink this morning. And? 
And he told me the same thing he told you. That he doesn't know a thing except that she's a nutcase. Look, you're all stressed out. So are half the guys in the force, including Gary, I'm me. not wrong about this, all right? You're paranoid. Paranoid? What's that? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? She's a cop killer. You don't know that. Come on, Gary. What, it never crossed your mind you're a homicide detective? I mean, it has crossed your mind, hasn't it? Answer me. do this. That's not her. Don't you get it? She led us here to kill you. You don't understand. She's sleepwalking. It's not her. I understand. It's definitely her.
Still, I still. I remember. Fire! Point the gun at the target. At the target. That's the target. My hand clutching the grip. Elbow straight. That's the guy that's going to kill you. No, that's the scum that wants to kill you. And he wants to kill your wife. And he wants to kill your kids. And he wants to kill your mother. And he wants to annihilate your whole family. So hit him and hurt him. My grandmother's got better trigger control than this. And she's 108 years old. That's pathetic. All right. May as well have shot yourself in the head. Ah. Uh. Never saw anything like it. Wait a minute. Is that this one? Huh. Check this out. This little girl outshot all of you. You better hope she's with you in the real world. Because you can't protect yourselves. <laughs> See? Huh? Check it out. Hey, Lynn. Want a beer? Just sitting around, you know, knocking back a few, and we 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 decided we want, we wanted to tell you um, <laughs> how impressed we were with your performance on the firing range today. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you uh, like made us all so proud. Get 
stupid bitch. Get out! Get out here! Shut up! 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 One oh four to Central, come in Central. You never get a cop when you need one, huh? One oh four to Central, come in Central. You fixed the files. I never missed the fact that they were all at the academy together. You took that information out and you put it back in when you wanted me to find it. took your name off the list and you replaced it with mine. She didn't lead us here. You led me here. Gary, she killed seven people. You made sure her therapist didn't know anything? It's claim. It's neat. No witnesses. Victim. It's like it never happened. Women shouldn't be cops, Yannick. You ought to know that better than anybody. One oh four to Central, come in Central. I finally finished with her. Guess now I have to start on him. Unbelievable. She whacked them all. harassment charges. They were dismissed. 
is unfounded. Congratulations. Thank you.